So, hello everyone. I'm Caroline Swarbrick and I'm admission for the Blended Learning PhD in Dementia Studies. A bit of an overlap with, with some of the, the presentation that, that Chen's um, just given because we're both based within the Centre for Aging Research. So, in the context of, of Dementia Studies, so as Catherine outlined at the beginning of the presentation, during the first two years, they are um, taught module based. So I just want to give you an overview of, of the dementia module, um, which is the first module that, that you will take. So in terms of the, the module, it's run by Professor Carol Holland, who's our director in the Centre for Aging Research. And it provides foundations of knowledge um, of the influences of neurodegeneration and cognitive impairment and how it impacts on activity, daily living, um, coping mechanisms, and also needs for, for rehabilitation. We also look at some of the theoretical underpinnings, so the epistemology, the ontology, and really explore how we know what we know. The module also offers broad understanding for some of the multi and it is interdisciplinary um, research that we do um, on management, care, support, and also its influence on policy. We do involve um, a lot of research within our teaching to make it a lot more applied. So it's not just about the theory, even though it's important to know about the theory, it's how it actually works in practice. We look at exploring interventions, and as Chen covered, and as I'll come to uh, in a couple of slides, we do a lot of research on different types of interventions. There may be social care interventions, there may be clinical interventions. We also look at epidemiological approaches, so some of the prevalence and incidence around dementia. And we also cover the, the breadth, so from diagnosis to dying well um, with dementia. So, who are our students? And Chen outlines some of the students that are involved in the, the ageing programmes. We uh, studies programme, we appeal to a really broad range of uh, individuals. So at the moment, we have academics, we have managers from organisations, healthcare, from general health and well, um, that includes policy makers. We have a number of students who are based overseas particularly within um, non-governmental organisations, and also those who are currently working within different types of dementia care settings, both in the UK and international as well, and this includes um, care homes and, and daycare. So, in terms of areas research, the, like I say, there is um, some overlap with, with some of the research that Chen's just presented, because dementia does feature in some ageing research, but we do have a lot of dementia research, focuses particularly on different types of dementias. I've put here um, a number of, of different types of research that we're involved with at the moment, and as you can see, it's very broad in its scope do as part of the Centre for Asia Research, we do work across the, the faculty and across the university and beyond as well. We do, so things like driving and driving cessation, that was one of the that. We do a lot of research across the lifespan, so like I say, from diagnosis and pre-diagnosis to end-of-life care, and we do work closely with our, um, our palliative care team, and you will be hearing from Yaku a bit later on. We do a lot of work with local National Health Service Trusts um, and third sector charity organisations as well across the, the dementia care provision. We've also worked with colleagues um, to develop training within hospital and acute care settings to support dementia care. Again, these are some more um, areas of, of dementia research that we're currently involved with. Um, like I say, we do quite a lot of work within hospital settings. Also, we do quite a, a bit of work within the social care setting. I do quite a lot of work with, um, in terms of co-production and co-design, and that's really where my, pa my passion is. Um, and it's working alongside people living with dementia to be part of research and to start developing some of that research agenda as well. 
So covering some of, of what Chen was talking about in her presentation, within the, the Centre for Aging Research, we're a very active research group. Um, we do particularly um, support our postgraduate students and we have a specific student forum and that's for any student who are interested or undertaking any type of dementia research. That we have every month we have, um, a forum meeting where all students come together. Again, that's online and we, we do facilitate that um, around different time zones as well. And it's a great way of interacting with and, and sort of talk about our learning. I run the Centre for Aging Research seminar series and we have uh, of different types of um, presentations around ageing, around dementia and some of other health conditions associated with that. We do have international speakers, quite a few renowned international speakers um, who are part of that series and the series is open to, to everyone. As I said, my passion is particularly around co-design and co-research and co-production. So in May we'll have research seminar whereas we are inviting some of the, the people living with dementia and care support to work with to deliver um, one of our seminars and we did that um, similarly when we ran the British Society for Gerontology conference which we hosted at Lancaster last year. We also have a continuing learning group and this is a group of over a hundred um, older people who are um, older learners and they come onto campus, they get involved with the lectures and they invite us sometimes to, to come and talk about our research. Our learning group is very active member um, of the Centre for Aging Research so and we do um, a lot of work with them, um, especially sort of bouncing ideas off and, and they're very interested in, in being part of that. We're also um, a similar group but with, with people living with dementia in, in a, as a co-research group so that's really really exciting. Some of our current students, um, so we've got a student at the moment who is going to be having the Viva um, a couple of weeks and they're looking about care home staff and responsive behaviours um, which are associated dementia. That is specifically in terms of, of care homes and um, is looking at moral distress, uh, particularly moderate to advanced care, uh, dementia care, end of life. And also, like I say, it's very, very broad. So we um, also do a lot of work with arts and health and I work with the um, as So thank you so much. I know um, we're taking questions at the end, but my, uh, my email's address on here. So if you have any questions, you want to talk, about anything dementia related, then please do get in touch with me. So thank you.